allowed. And so it's been going all day and all night. That mystery noise has been driving people in eastern Oklahoma County crazy. Well, now we know what's causing it. Yep, News 4's Austin Brissett is back on the story tonight with the new information. It's through these rural Lincoln County trees here next to me where the source of the sound that's bothering several residents in this area is coming from. A well site that the Oklahoma Corporation Commission says has several issues. So loud and shrill, it's just this really annoying sound. From what I can understand, the oil rig was not maintained properly. The trumpets of the Most High have sounded their glorious call, a powerful melody that echoes across the vast heavens like the voice of the Lord, shaking the wilderness with its might. Their notes resound through every corner of the earthly realm, growing louder and louder like the blast of a trumpet, summoning all to attention. Angelic choirs unite in endless ranks, their ethereal voices weaving rich harmonies to accompany the trumpet's majestic melody, singing praises sweeter than the sound of many waters. This sacred symphony ascends ever higher, like the prayers of the saints rising as the smoke of incense before God's throne. It is a soul-stirring summons for all nations to bask in the glory, a transcendent celebration of He who is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Mortal hearts cannot help but be uplifted and filled with awe and reverence at the profound majesty carried upon these hallowed strains sounding through the earth. As the last golden notes linger and fade into the infinite heavens, a hallowed hush cloaks the world in breathless wonder, as if every creature in heaven and on earth has beheld the angel's rapturous trumpet call resounding through the ages to the glory of the Most High. Yet, as Christians, we must not celebrate just yet. Their majestic sound could very much signal the end of our time on earth. While the angelic symphony fills our hearts with joy and wonder, it also serves as a solemn reminder of the impending judgment and the need for vigilance. We must remain steadfast in our faith and continue to live our lives in a manner that pleases the Lord, for the trumpet call may herald the final days. In this moment of awe-inspiring grandeur, let us not lose sight of our purpose and our calling as followers of Christ. Let us approach the throne of grace with humility and repentance, seeking forgiveness and guidance as we navigate the uncertain times ahead. May the trumpet's call inspire us to remain faithful, to love one another, and to share the good news of salvation with all who will listen. For though the trumpets sound with majesty and power, it is the love and grace of our Savior that truly resounds throughout eternity, offering hope and redemption to all who embrace His message of salvation. But Christian, we should nor yet celebrate. Before the kingdom of heaven can be established, the pain and suffering of the end time must come first. The signs of the end are here. 39 now, and uh, yeah, don't adjust your screen there. The river you see there really has turned red in northern Indiana. Officials trace the Red River upstream to a local company. Turns out that company released the red dye, trying to figure out how water was getting into its building's basement. Throughout the sacred scriptures of various faiths, there are striking prophetic visions and symbolic references to rivers and bodies of water turning to the ominous color of blood. While it may seem paradoxical for the life-giving waters that sustain humanity to take on such a blood-like crimson hue, these powerful metaphors have long been interpreted by religious scholars as foreshadowing the catastrophic events and upheaval surrounding the end of the current age or epoch. One of the most vivid and well-known accounts is found in the book of Revelation in the Christian New Testament, which describes one of the seven bowl judgments being poured out upon the earth by an angel. The third angel poured out his bowl into the rivers and the springs of waters. And they became blood revelation 16 4. this chilling apocalyptic scene of waters turning to blood evokes the primordial plague narrated in the book of Exodus, when the Nile River in ancient Egypt ran red with blood and the fish perished. Just as that ominous supernatural sign revealed God's awesome power over the waters of the earth, and preceded the liberation of the Israelites from Egyptian oppression. So too may this prophesied end times phenomenon herald the ultimate deliverance of God's faithful people from the bondage and tribulations of the fallen world into their promised eternal inheritance. The Hebrew prophet Joel also forewarns of this sobering sign in the heavens and on the earth in his vision, and the stars will withdraw their shining, 
and the stars will withdraw their shining dot 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 and the rivers of Judah will flow with water. The Lord will roar from Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, the heavens and the earth will shake. Joel 2 30, 32, 3 18 in this vivid portrayal, the distortion and transmutation of the terrestrial rivers and waters intertwines with cataclysmic cosmic cosmic upheaval, all bound up in the tumultuous day of the Lord, the culmination of divine judgment. Even the river whose streams make glad the city of God as the psalmist poetically describes, is prophesied to ultimately become a raging torrent that will one day catastrophically swell its channels Psalm 46.4. This suggests that the once life-sustaining and joy-giving waterways will burst their banks in a terrifying surge of turbulence, foreshadowing the dramatic climatic transitions and birth pangs of the coming new age. When viewed through the symbolic lens of scripture and spiritual tradition, the unsettling imagery of rivers, springs and bodies of water running red with blood portends the era of great tribulation, judgment, and upheaval yet to come upon the earth. Whether precipitated by widespread conflict and warfare, ecological devastation and plagues, supernatural intervention and divine wrath, or a combination of such catastrophic factors, this striking prophetic sign provides a vivid harbinger of the tumultuous birth pangs and upheaval that will ultimately give way to the promised renewal a new heavens and a new earth. As devoted followers of Jesus Christ, we can have unwavering faith in the fulfillment of the divine prophecies foretold in sacred scripture. The omniscient and sovereign God has revealed in advance the cataclysmic events that will unfold, leaving no room for skeptics or non-believers to doubt His absolute power and authority. Just as the ancient prophecies warn of nature itself becoming violently disturbed and rageful in the final generation before the Lord's return, we are witnessing escalating environmental upheaval and turmoil manifesting across the globe. Unprecedented natural disasters, extreme weather patterns, and ecological disruptions are stark signs that we are living in the prophesied end times. And as devoted followers of Jesus Christ, it is absolutely critical and urgently imperative that we know the devastation that the end time can bring is far bigger than one could imagine. As we witness the catastrophic signs of the prophesied end times rapidly accelerating and intensifying, our faith must remain firmly anchored in the inviolable, prophetic word of God contained in sacred scripture. The Bible alone stands as the authoritative, divinely inspired compass to guide us through this gathering maelstrom of chaos and complexity. Its teachings equip us with indispensable knowledge, grant U.S. critical spiritual discernment, and instill a steadfast faith to boldly persevere and remain upright amidst the raging turmoil swirling around us. By diligently examining the prophetic passages with utmost dedication, we will attain the ability to rightly decode and understand the cataclysmic birth pangs now actively birthing the end times to discern the insidious rise of deceptions and false prophets, grasp the roots of the escalating global pandemonium of unrest, conflicts and wars, accurately interpret the ominous signs convulsing the natural world, perceive the profound spiritual awakenings and apostasies taking shape, and even comprehend how technology itself is playing an increasingly significant role in this unparalleled age unlike anything in history. Illuminated by the brilliant light of God's inviolable word, we must embark on this uplifting yet gravely critical journey systematically exploring and studying these intricate topics in comprehensive depth. We must draw with fervency from the rich tapestry of scriptural accounts, references and revelations, coupled with our knowledge of history and our own discerning observations. Our objective is singular to attain a full and overarching understanding of the magnificent cosmic scope of God's immutable plan before the inexorable closure of this climactic age. As we meticulously examine and unpack the proliferating signs before our eyes through a spiritually discerning lens, we must realign our mindsets and reorient our very lives to conform wholly with the eternal purposes of our Creator. While this escalating revelation of the coming judgment may indeed instill understandable human trepidation and fear, we must resolutely cling to the solemn truth that even amid this requisite purging, there remains an eternal wellspring of redemptive hope for all those who place their unwavering trust in the sure promises of the Almighty. Within the vast, sweeping canonical narrative of the Bible, the hallowed theme of divine prophecy occupies a place of imminent urgency and unparalleled criticality, serving a multitude of indispensable roles in the culminating outworking of God's grand meta-narrative before the ultimate denouement of the ages. The overwhelming purpose of these scriptural prophecies is to impart heaven's sacred guidance 
profound insight and a radiant hope that burns like a beacon amidst the present day, encroaching darkness engulfing the world. Prophecy is the divine revelatory roadmap that unveils the upending panorama of future events and their catastrophic consequences, sounding like a trumpet's blast to rouse humanity to repentance from iniquities, and ultimately pointing with resolute clarity toward the inevitable fulfillment of the eternal Almighty's inviolable covenants and promises sworn from ancient times. At the heart of this revelatory process stand the emissaries the venerable prophets themselves, willing vessels purposefully chosen and spiritually enabled by God as the conduits to receive His messages, warnings and proclamations which they were charged to urgently disseminate throughout the generations of man. The key prophetic books found in the Old Testament, such as Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, and others, contain a penetrating repository of profound visions and apocalyptic mysteries that shed brilliant, searing illumination on the intricate components of God's unfailing plan before the rapidly approaching climactic end times. These anointed writings offer expansive revelatory insights into the portentous signs, supernatural phenomena, and globe-convulsing circumstances surrounding the long-foretold culmination of this age a reality we are now thrust into with heightened urgency. Coupled with the complementary teachings and parabolic revelations imparted by Christ Himself in His earthly advent, as well as the capstone visions granted to the Apostle John comprising the Book of Revelation, the full biblical canon provides the diligent seeker of truth with the only trustworthy complete prophetic framework to rightly comprehend the undeniable epoch of tribulation and upheaval we are now entering and navigating. Let's start with the prophecy from the book of Daniel, stating there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, since there was a nation even to that time Daniel 12 1, has been a subject of deep analysis and interpretation within Christian eschatology. This prophecy is understood to refer to a period known as the Great Tribulation, a time preceding the end times marked by unparalleled hardship and distress. Examining real-life events and aligning them with this prophecy requires a nuanced approach, considering both historical and contemporary occurrences that might be seen as potential fulfillments or precursors to this prophesied period. Starting with the past, humankind has witnessed several catastrophic events that could be interpreted as precursors to or examples aligning with the Great Tribulation. One notable instance is the destruction of Jerusalem in A.D. 70, a calamity involving sieges, starvation, and slaughter. This event not only resulted in significant loss but also marked a pivotal shift in the religious and socio-political landscape of the time. The two world wars of the 20th century offer further examples of unprecedented distress on a global scale. World War I and I, I saw the mobilization of millions, widespread destruction, and loss of life on scales never before imagined, along with the Holocaust's atrocity, which represents human suffering and cruelty at its most extreme. In recent times, the global community has faced challenges that, to some, might resonate with the ominous tones of Daniel's prophecy. The COVID-19 pandemic, beginning in late 2019 and continuing to affect the world in waves, has led to millions of deaths, significantly impacted economies, and transformed daily life. It's a poignant reminder of human vulnerability, despite technological and medical advances. Climate change, resulting in extreme weather patterns, natural disasters, and environmental degradation, poses another contemporary challenge that threatens global security and well-being. From vast wildfires to intense hurricanes and rising sea levels, the frequency and intensity of these events seem to escalate, aligning with the prophecy's warning of unprecedented trouble. Further terrifying prophecies from Luke and Matthew's Gospels will shock many Christians. In Luke 21, 25, 26, Jesus provides a graphic description, and there will be signs in the sun and moon and stars, and on the earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the surging waves. People will faint from fear and expectation of the things coming upon the world, because the powers of the heavens will be shaken. This paints an apocalyptic picture of the skies and celestial bodies displaying shocking abnormalities and irregularities that words can scarcely describe. The sun, moon, and stars, those constant, dependable luminaries that have guided humanity for millennia will be severely distorted, possibly going dark or behaving erratically. Such dramatic astronomical phenomena would understandably throw the world's nations into confusion, panic, and despair. Not only that, but Jesus warns that the very powers of the heavens will be shaken this shaking suggests a cataclysmic cosmic event of unimaginable magnitude, one that seems to defy the fundamental laws of physics and nature as we know them. 
It evokes imagery of the universe itself being violently convulsed and destabilized. The Apostle Matthew reinforces this ominous picture in his Gospel account. Immediately after the tribulation of those days the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Matthew 24, 29. Again, the sun and moon prime sources of light and life for earth are thrown into disarray, their illumination extinguished. Even more terrifying, the stars, those pinpricks of light that have eternally studded the night sky, will actually come crashing down from the heavens, raining cosmic debris upon the earth in an unthinkable cataclysm. Both Gospel writers are unambiguous that these mind-bending celestial events will unfold during a period of severe tribulation on earth, a time of profound hardship, distress, and upheaval. It's as if the universe itself is reflecting and mirroring the turmoil and suffering being experienced by humanity. While the Bible's language in depicting these end-time signs is rich in imagery and metaphor, the overall message is clear before Christ's victorious return. Creation itself will convulse in a cosmic paroxysm. The heavens will be shaken, the universe destabilized from its foundations. Cataclysmic sights of astronomical bodies gone awry will spread fear, confusion and awe across the nations. These graphic descriptions from Jesus speak of seismic disruptions in the cosmic order, disturbances on an unimaginable scale that can only be comprehended through the lens of the supernatural. In a universe guided by God's sovereign hand, such events would be unavoidable signs that the established order is coming to an end and Christ's eternal kingdom is being ushered in. While terrifying to contemplate, the Bible offers these visions as a message of profound hope. After this cosmic convulsion and collapse of the old order, Christ will return as the conquering king to banish evil, renew all of creation, and establish his eternal reign of peace and restoration. The violent heavenly signs are but the prelude, the death pangs of the age giving way to a new, glorious era. The book of Revelation stands as one of the Bible's most vivid and symbolic depictions of the end times events. Written by the Apostle John, it unveils a series of cataclysmic signs and wonders preceding Christ's final victory over evil and the ushering in of his eternal kingdom. A central image found in Revelation is that of seven angels sounding seven successive trumpet blasts. These trumpets are not ordinary instruments, but vessels through which God's judgments upon the earth are announced and realized. As the seals are opened and the trumpets sounded, escalating devastations are unleashed upon the earth. It's with the sounding of the seventh trumpet that the ultimate culmination occurs. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Revelation 11:15. This seventh trumpet blast doesn't just signal another judgment, it marks the transition from this present world order to the eternal reign of Christ over all creation. The loud voices in heaven erupt with the proclamation that all earthly kingdoms and authorities have been overthrown, giving way to God's everlasting kingdom under his ultimate ruler, the Messiah. This monumental changing of the guard is further elaborated in Revelation 5, 11, 12. John describes an incredible vision of a great multitude of angels surrounding God's throne, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands. This innumerable host raises their collective voices in thunderous praise, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who is slain, to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. This deafening chorus of angels is directed in worship toward the slain but risen Christ the Lamb celebrating his decisive victory and vindication to receive the full authority of God's kingdom. Their voices reverberate across the heavens, announcing that the sacrifice of God's Son has achieved the conquest of sin and death. What's striking in these passages is the sheer enormity of the scale and grandeur, trumpet blasts of earth shattering proportions, the voices of heavenly multitudes numbering in the millions and billions, the sights and sounds convey something of cosmic, eternal significance, the transition of all creation to a new era under the reign of God's ultimate conquering king. Woven through the symbolism and imagery is the sense that all of heaven and earth, the visible and invisible realms, are involved in and bearing witness to these end times events. Just as the seals and trumpets unleashed escalating devastations on earth, now the cosmos itself is erupting with shouts of joy, celebration, and praise as the trappings of the old order are swept away by Christ's decisive triumph. 
The angels' voices joined in an exultant chorus reflect the relief and rapture of all creation being liberated from bondage to sin, decay, and death. United with the heavenly hosts are the voices of all those who kept faith through tribulation, vindicated at last as they entered into Christ's eternal reign of peace and restoration. While the prophetic language can be disorienting, what shines through is a picture of cosmic resolve, of the full realization of God's redemptive plan. The voices, trumpets, and proclamations all crescendo in resounding victory. After ages of conflict, suffering, and longing, the kingdoms of this fallen world give way to Christ's everlasting dominion of righteousness, justice, and peace. These passages in Revelation paint a picture, not just of the end times events themselves, but the larger transition from a world enslaved by sin to a new creation reflecting God's original perfection. The celestial sounds and multitudes testify that this culmination isn't just the end, it's the glorious, long-awaited beginning of Christ's reign establishing the way things were always meant to be. But Christians, do not lose hope. There is still a secret weapon we can use. As we find ourselves amid the escalating turmoil and upheaval heralding the prophesied end times, it is prayer that sacred communion with our Heavenly Father that will serve as the steadfast anchor for our souls and the wellspring of hope to carry us through every trial and tribulation. Though the path ahead may grow increasingly perilous and daunting, fervent and unwavering prayer attunes our spirits to the eternal promises of the Almighty, fortifying us with divine strength, wisdom and reassurance to overcome any obstacle. In the moments when the birth pangs of the coming age seem too overwhelming to bear, it is prayer that realigns our perspective with the immortal truths revealed in the inerrant Word of God. As we humbly enter into the Holy of Holies through the conduit of prayer, we are supernaturally granted a clarity of spiritual vision that transcends our finite human constraints. The veil is drawn back to reveal the grand majesty of God's sovereign plan precisely foretold and unfolding according to His impeccable timing and purposes. Though the way may appear engulfed in darkness as prophesied deceptions, conflicts and false messiahs proliferate, prayer elevates our gaze to the immovable reality that our Redeemer lives and reigns supreme over the universe He created. No matter how powerfully the gates of hell may rage against the spiritual forces of light, prayer is the mighty implement that covers us with the impenetrable armor of God, Ephesians 6, allowing us to stand unshaken amid the fiery arrows of the evil one. United in corporate prayer as the body of Christ, we access a mantle of anointing and strength that can tear down lofty strongholds of wickedness and overcome the most formidable adversity. In the moments of acute distress, when we bear witness to cataclysmic upheaval erupting in the heavens and upon the earth, prayer is the lifeline that forever links our spirits to the eternal peace and joy that transcends fleeting circumstances. As the tribulation gives way and the powers of nature itself are shaken, allowing fear and dread to take root only fuels the nefarious aims of the enemy to rob us of faith. Yet through steadfast and trusting prayer, our hearts become tethered to the unshakable promises of our Heavenly Father, who will never leave us or forsake us promises anchored in the unassailable truth that He has already achieved the ultimate and eternal victory over sin, death, and every fallen power at the cross of Christ. Thus as we faithfully lift our voices in prayer amidst this unprecedented culmination of ages, the Almighty meets us at our point of desperation and need with a revitalizing outpouring of His infinite and transcendent grace, hope, peace, and power. It is Heaven's precious and potent gift of prayer that imbues our earthen vessels with a strength and joy that is entirely supernatural. Prayer grants us a profound awareness that trials produce perseverance, and perseverance produces a proven character that overflows with the hope and eager expectation of everlasting glory in Restoration Romans 5. No matter how powerfully the birth pangs may intensify or how ominous the signs in the sun, moon, and stars may become, the ardent prayers of the faithful will never be lost in the cacophony. They rise like perpetual incense into the throne room of the sovereign Lord of Heaven's armies who hears and answers the earnest cries of His children. By pressing in to pray with relentless fervor and absolute trust, we will find our spiritual eyes illumined to recognize the Lord's mighty hand moving in unanticipated ways to carry out His immutable will for His glory and for the ultimate deliverance of His people. So let us take up with unwavering courage the infinite privilege of prayer as devoted disciples in these last days. Let our prayers rage like an unquenchable fire in the spirit realm, fueling bold faith against all powers of darkness. Through the lens of eternity, we know that every knee will ultimately bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ alone is Lord over heaven and earth. 
And so by anchoring ourselves in the hope instilling spiritual discipline of prayer, our lives take on renewed meaning and purpose as willing vessels to usher in the soon arriving kingdom of our conquering King and Messiah. No opposing force, deception or evil principality can prevail against the power of concerted and faithful prayer unto our victorious Father in heaven. Prayer alone will be the compass orienting our steps as the final shadows are dispelled, the day breaks, and radiant healing and restoration are everlastingly established upon this redeemed world.